Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. In this module, we are going to discuss that is third question. Class intervals in a group frequency distribution are given as 4, 11. So, class intervals they are given. So, what is that? 4, 11, 12, 19, 20, 27, 28, 35, 36, 43. So, which type of class interval this is? Inclusive class intervals. So, here no matching of this and this values. So, what type? Inclusive class intervals. Why? Because every value will be included with each and every lower limit and upper limits. Next. So, what is the length? How many number of class intervals we need to find? So, here five values that are given. Right next to two class intervals. What is the length of each class interval? Write the class boundaries of all the classes. What are the class marks for each? So, what is meant by boundaries and what is the values? So, actually here, so for this class intervals, inclusive class intervals that given, what is the length? Length of class interval. Length of each class interval. So, first one we are doing length of each class interval is equal to so what is the formula formula is difference between difference difference between two successive class limits difference between two successive two successive class limits that is, you can take, you can take this two or any two. So, 12 minus 4, we have to take only lower limits or upper limits, 8, you will get. Or, you can take upper limits also, 35 minus 27 will be equal to 8. So, this is the case. So, we are calculated, what is the length of each class interval? length of class interval will be equal to answer will be equal to 8 then write the next class interval and boundaries will going to check in this next one so here we are constructed this class intervals and we are going to write class intervals and we will going to write next to two class intervals so 411 class interval is 411 then 12, 19, then 20, 27, then 20, 28, then 35, 36, 43, then 43. So here we are written two class interval. For this add 36 plus 8. So 36 plus 8 is what? So, 36 plus 8 and 43 plus 8. Then what you will get? So, here we are adding length to it. 44. <coughs> then what you will get here? 51. So, for 44 again, 44 plus 8. So, we are adding 8 to that. 44 plus 8, 51 plus 8. Then what you will get? 44 plus 8 will be 52 59 so these are the next class intervals we are what they are asked next what is the lower limit for this what are the lower limits so for this all these left side values all are lower limits for this all right side values are upper limits so for this what is the lower limit 4 what is the upper limit 11, 12, 19, 20, 27, 28, 35, 36, 43, 44, 51, then 52 and 59, 52 and 59. So, now we need to calculate lower boundary of this and upper boundary of this. 
So actually, the average of upper boundary for first class interval is the average of 12 and so upper boundary of second class interval this is upper boundary of first class interval upper boundary of class first class interval plus lower boundary that is lower limit you can take lower limit upper limit lower limit of second class interval by 2 that is the formula so here what is the formula here is 11 plus 12 by 2 then what you will get 11 plus 12 by 2 11 plus 12 by 2 23 so this one will be 23 by 2 then what you will get 23 by 2 11.5 so 11.5 then for this also upper boundary lower boundary for this is also same so what is that 11 plus 12 by 2 that is 23 by 2 that is 11.5 so here lower boundary upper boundaries will be same then let's take for this is for this this is the values so upper boundary for second class interval is 19 plus 20 by 2 that is 19 plus 20 by 2 19 plus 20 will be 39 by 2 then what you will get 39 by 2 19.5 so if you observe one thing for this added point <coughs> for this subtracted point for this subtracted from point 5 like that also we can take so 20 point 20 minus point 0.5 will come 19.5 for that for this 27 right so for this 27 plus point 0.5 will be 27.5 this is the upper boundary so like that it will go so this is the calculation of upper boundaries and lower limit for this 4 minus point 0.5 will come 3.5 so 3.5, 19.5 like that upper boundary and lower boundary. So you can calculate like that. Then here also 28 minus 0.5 will come 27.5. So for this 35 plus 0.5 will come 35.5. So if you check this boundary value, this all are same. So if you check this lower boundary and upper boundaries are same then now you can try it like this 35.5, 43.5, then 43.5, 51.5, 51.5, 59 59.5. So these are the lower boundaries and upper boundaries. So lower boundary and upper boundary values are like this. So you need to take average of these two. Then class marks. So what is the class mark? Average of lower boundary plus upper boundary by 2. So lower boundary plus upper boundary by 2. So what is that? 3.5 plus 11.5 by 2. Then what you will get? 3.5 plus 11.5 by 2. 15 by 2, 7.5 we will get. So this is 7.5 then 11.5 plus 19.5 by 2 so 11.5 plus 19.5 so 11 plus 19 31.5 so 15.5 so what you will get 15.5 that is 31 by 2 here also then so 19.5 plus 27.5 by 2 what you will get so 19 27 47 by 2 what you will get 23.5 so 23.5 like that if you add 27.5 plus 35.5 63 by 2 then what you will get 63 by 2 
then 35 point so 79 by 2 so 79 by 2 will be 39.5 39.5 then what you'll get so what you'll get here 95 will get 95 by 2 then 95 by 2 is 47.5 47.5 then last one class marks here what you'll get 111 by 2 that will be 55.5 so these are the class marks so like this we need to calculate actually lower limit is the lower limits of all this and upper limits of all this lower boundary is nothing but we have to subtract for any class interval we have to subtract only 0 0.5 0 0.5 is a constant for any problem next so this one upper boundary for this we need to calculate lower upper limit of upper limit of first class interval and lower limit of second class interval by 2 so if you take these values then you will get lower limits upper limits upper limits and lower limits always upper limit of first class interval and lower limit of second class interval or upper boundary of upper boundary of first class interval lower boundary of second class interval will be bound is always same it will be in include exclusive manner next class marks is the average of lower boundary and upper boundary that we have to calculate thanks for watching please subscribe